Hello everyone, welcome to Vajrang Talks and uh, so Path, what are we showing today? So today we have built a complete application <clears throat> for complaint registration and management. So okay. we will have on our login page where mm -hmm. the username will enter his username and the password. Also okay. we are here validating the password with our okay. database file, the Excel file which we can see right now. So after okay. the user mm -hmm. successfully logs in, we will mm -hmm. show other complete demo uh, by logging we are exactly trying to log in uh, so it's like a complete application where yes. uh, we use some excel to store our data but the application will be uh, like it will be complete registration solution that's what we are saying right yes 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 so as we can see in the uh, screen we have this user list these are called the employees who are trying to access this particular application and right. employees also have particular roles so executive can be like a person who is taking a request from a user a resolution is agent is someone who is trying to solve a particular query something like that right okay and manager is someone who is trying to manage a particular executive or particular employee so right. here we also maintain the email id password as well as manager id so one of the solution that i can say in future updates are the password since we are storing it as a string maybe we can store this as a secure key that's where we can right. update it but right, for now right. since uh, due to the demo ease of the demo we can consider this as a string password so right. uh, so how this login works so here we need to enter our username so okay. as we can see the user ids are assigned so we need okay. to that enter particular that user id in our username so okay. then let's type the username okay so let's try with yours first yes and you have a particular id called okay password is de default right Okay, so for example, let's uh, try with the wrong password. Right, right now, right. I didn't type in the wrong password. So when I click on login, it will go and search for the key. And since it failed, it will come back and ask us the login details again. Right, right. So now we that's what we are validating the password entered by the user. So one question I have is, are we checking with the complete table? Like when we are checking with the username and password, are we reading the complete data table here? No, we are just taking that particular user ID and okay. then we are checking the password from that particular row. Exactly. So what exactly happens in the background is when the user types in a username, uh, we will we are using VLOOKUP to get the uh, correct address of the right. particular cell. So using that address, we are trying to get the password. So complete uh, data will not be read and right, right. memory also will be saved. We are not reading the complete tables here. Right, right, right. So let's add your password. Yeah. Let's continue. So for the ease of the users, we did not uh, make too, too complicated, simple thing. So here we can see on which ID the user is logged in and what is the role of the executive. Right. For example, if I log in with my ID, then it will be with uh, manager role. Yes, exactly. Yes. With the manager role and uh, for you, it is a executive role, right? Right. So, uh, so what is this register complaint and view complaints? So register complaint is where we can register a new complaint from a customer. Okay. And we can fill all the details over there. So let's click on register complaint and then in okay. view complaints, we can view complaint registered by a particular executive. So one more thing is we can uh, we can use these queries. Uh, so yes. uh, this is the same database uh, sheet that we are using, but we have a different sheet which is called query. So whenever we register something, we are as adding it to this particular sheet, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, let's see or let's register a complaint. Yes. Okay, so here we have registration link. Let's wait for the view to pop up. Okay, so okay. here the complaint ID. What is this complaint ID? So a complaint ID will always be unique when a executive runs this particular workflow. So a complaint okay. ID will always be associated with different user with different executive when he will register the complaint. So it is generated randomly every time. 
Okay, so it's, it will be like a unique key so that yes. uh, a query can be fetched and searched for, right? Yes, yes. Okay, for example, let's uh, give Ramakrishna is the person who called us and we take his email ID. Yes, so executive is inputting his data and registering a complaint. So I am an executive who is taking a call from someone and I am trying to register the data. That's what right. it is about. Right, right. And order ID. So what is this order ID? So we will ask the user for which particular order he is re- he want to register a complaint. So we will ask him for his order ID. So here so, right now we can yeah. enter uh, random order ID. So in future what we can do is maybe we have all the order IDs in one particular sheet. Uh, so when we click the order ID instead of filling all the details by ourselves when we click on the order id and when we fill in and when we click on look up maybe all the details can auto pop up that's the yes. feature that we can add on yes okay. we can add that so for now let's add the this is the general order id and complaint category what is this about so the, we have uh, right now given three types of complaint category so anytime we order a product either we haven't received our product from last two weeks or something so we can okay. select that particular type of category of if or if our product is damaged or if we want to return the product so depending on that we can select the category we want excellent so let's check with the damaged product and we are saying product, product delivered damaged. uh delivered is damaged right okay let's click on so click on register query so it says that a pop up came just now stating that the it is successful and right. if we just see uh, with the users let's try with the uh, okay see here the details are updated yeah. uh, with ramakrishna email id product delivered with damage so these are the details and what about this assign to so assign to is a column when a manager will assign an resolution agent a particular complaint so it okay. will be updated over here so we will okay. show a demo of that also okay fine so let's uh, so here what complaints can i see so since he is an executive can i see all the complaints or only the complaints that are no. registered we we will be able only to see the complaints registered by this particular executive we won't see all the complaints so who can see all the complaints a uh, manager can only see all the complaints okay that's great so let's go ahead and register complaints so since this is completed let's close this yes. so now let's view complaints okay so here the complaints are being filtered with the id that is being raised right 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 so for every id that we create so here uh, for your login uh, we have two ids that are available and these are the order ids right so uh, this sn2 is disabled because uh, the particular credentials are not provided or particular role is not provided to this particular executive is it correct right right okay that's great so no need to worry about all this so let's close okay yes. let's log in with the manager id and let's check yes okay so again running the flow so this was the demo when executive runs the workflow so okay. what all functions can be performed by an executive now we'll show what a manager can do okay so my name will be a manager id and password you are also the same validation is performed excellent the login failed i think i didn't enter a correct password yeah let's try. okay it's asking me again let's continue so here we have uh, so whenever i log in I think I can see my role and my email I, yes. employee ID, uh, which is common. So, yes, what yes. is different from the previous role to this role? So, here the register complaint thing is the same. If our manager wishes to register a complaint, so he can do that. But here, in view complaints, we will able to see all the complaints in our Excel file. So, irrespective of uh, whoever raised, uh, all yeah. the complaints are will be shown to a manager. Yes. 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 
Okay. And also you will have an option to assign a resolution agent to that particular complaint. Excellent. So here, uh, yeah, earlier this assigned user was empty. So now we have all the details. Right, so, right. Uh, so what is this assigned user will do? So this assigned user will let manager assign a resolution agent for that particular complaint, and then it will be updated in our database. Okay. So, okay. So I, if I need to assign someone this particular. uh item yes. so who, who why only two items are available here so we are dynamically taking this drop down list values for okay. from our excel file so here as we can see we have only two resolution agent and the okay. others are executive manager so only okay. it is dynamically taking two values of resolution agent and allowing okay. the manager to assign the complaint so will this work like this like if i update this particular sheet will this yes. table be updated Yes, yes. You can see the real-time updation of this particular your table. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Submit. Yes. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, so, we have the real-time updation of the okay. complaints and assigned over here. Okay, that's great. So, uh, so again, executive can log in and he can update whatever the details we are. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So that's great. And uh, what else can be added, or how fast it can be scaled up or integrated to anything? Uh, first of all, we can replace our this Excel file with real-time database. Also, like we can connect SQL or something. Also, okay. like you said, the order ID. So we can have a database where the all the orders will be listed. So we okay. can uh, do the lookup thing. and then we can okay. get the orders by that particular person and all will be displayed in the drop down list so we kind of developed a complete application using yes. uh, ui part dynamic forms right 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 excellent excellent uh, so that's it for this particular demo and yes so will this be available in marketplace yes yes soon it will be available on the marketplace excellent Okay guys so yeah. this is uh, Vajrang and Path signing off but you can definitely see this particular use case in our marketplace and you can use or extend this particular solution to your particular use case if you yes yeah. and if you want to change the database of course you can do that if you want to have your own schema you can do that the main concepts that can be used from here are login which uh, where a user tries to login he if it is invalidated he will be asked again with the proper validation and we are also checking or we are also showing you how a user management can be done along with the role assignment can be used to properly filter the data and to show you the data yes, right and we are updating the data in real time also like we said in uh, assign user yeah so here we in the queries i think this is updated right maybe yes, we just need yes. to refresh it Okay, this Satish is updated here as well. Right. Excellent. Right.